welcome to another preseason uh, coaches interview here with uh, Farm Credit of Western Kansas as the sponsor on Cake Land Sports along with Open Space and Sports. Todd Flynn, the head football coach at Wheatland uh, Grinnell High School joins us. Coach, what do you expect this season? You know, I think we're going to have a competitive season. I think it's something that will be a little bit different than the past. So good competitive season and hopefully overall productive. All right, folks, if you want to know more about the Thunderhawk football season and the Thunderhawk football team, you can go to openspacesports.com. Well, Coach, uh, transition changes. Yes. Uh, you're the first coach that I'm talking to about the transition from eight-man football to six-man football. Kind of new to folks in Kansas, is, particularly yes. western Kansas. Weskin played it last year, but a few teams did. I think you guys yep, actually yep, played six-man. Yep. Uh, tell our listeners and the viewers out there a little bit about what's different about six-man from eight-man. Okay, Rich. Well, first of all, you start with six guys, most obvious on the field. Um, we have first and 15 rather than first and 10. That's going to be a big change for a lot of people. Uh, your field goal counts for four points as opposed to three in the uh, eight-man, 11-man game. And then also your point after is a little bit different. Rather than your two-point conversion, that's now only one point. And then if you kick the ball, that's now two points. So those are the main differences. Uh, and like I said, the first and 15 is probably the biggest game changer. And then also I think we had a kicking game with the, uh, the field goal rules and the extra point rules. So, uh, When it comes to uh, snapping the ball, what can the quarterback do? What does he have to do with the okay. football? Yeah, that is another rule change, I guess. Uh, the first person that receives the snap cannot advance the ball on the ground. So he can throw the ball, he can pitch the ball, but whoever takes the snap cannot run the ball forward across the line of scrimmage. Uh, which you'll see a six-man. A lot of teams, they'll do the little quick pitch to someone. You know, usually their the quarterback will be the guy getting the pitch then. So you have somebody who takes the ball, pitches to the quarterback. He'll roll out, then he can run, he can throw, he can do all sorts of stuff that you can in the eight-man, 11-man game. But. Now, obviously the reason you're playing six-man is because of the dwindling numbers yep. and population uh, in western Kansas, period. And in rural America, I guess you could honestly say. Uh, how many other teams can you, do you know offhand, how many other schools are – Participating six man, it's it's kind of a non sanctioned yep. Acacia deal. Yep. You got your own situation here, right? Yes, it's uh, I mean it's an independent league, so to speak. I um, mean we have seven schools plus us, so eight schools overall that are doing it. Uh, you know, most of them league schools are you know you got the Golden Plains and Shyland, Westkin, uh, Western Plains, Healy teamed up. They put together a team. They haven't had a football program for a while. Uh, Natoma. Pawnee Heights, and then uh, Heartland Christian are also doing it. So. And so when you get to uh, the end of October, mid-October, actually, yep. you're going to uh, seed yourself into a kind of a playoff system, yes, right? Yes, yeah. It's kind of a round robin through the first, really, seven games. And then after that, then, yeah, we, uh, or, yeah, seven games. And then we have our playoff structure, which will be two playoff games and a championship game and a third, fourth place game. And, yeah, how you do in the first seven games are going to determine where you're at there in those two playoff games, or at least the first one. And, uh you know, like I said, we're going to take four teams down to Dodge City for a championship. So, I, you know, the ultimate goal is to be one of those four teams. Uh, when you take a look at the season upcoming, uh, is the uh, is the run rule in effect in six man like yes. it is in eight man? Yes, it is. Uh, Forty five points at halftime. You know, that's one for us. That's one of the things that we've been affected by it on the negative side, the the wrong side the last couple of years. We've been forty five in too many games and. One of the reasons that I've really been a, kind of a, a fan of the six-man movement, at least for the next two years, the next football cycle, is because of that. I think we can play competitive football. You know, I have told the guys we may not win every football game, but I don't think we're going to get 45 in any games either. Yeah, and as you look ahead, uh, let's look down the road two years. There's a chance that some of these teams, if not all of them, but some of them may go back up yep. to eight-man? There is. Uh, you know, and, and we're one of those teams. I would not rule out us jumping back. Um, you know, to me, it depends on the kids that we have coming up, and I think we've got some kids that are in our middle school right now that are built for an eight-man game. They're a little bit, uh, I mean, more of your linemen. Uh, you know, six-man, you don't need much of a line. So I, I think that we have some kids that are made for the eight-man game, and, you know, it's, I guess we'll see how it, how, if everything holds true for the next two years here. Well, listen, good luck to you. Open Spaces Sports will cover you here during your six-man season this year at uh, Wheatland Grinnell High School. And, uh, covering the Thunderhawks. Thanks for joining us. I right, thank you, Rich. All right. Todd Flynn joining us here on Open Spaces Sports. Brought to you by Farm Credit of Western Kansas and many businesses throughout the uh, Grainfield, Grinnell, and Gove area. Right here on OpenSpacesSports.com.